Greetings and salutations fellow YouTubians. My name is Terry Andrews Jr. also known as the J5 Guru and today I have another Terry's Top Tip. Okay, so these are my uh, lithium iron phosphate uh, LifePo4 uh, cells that I'm using in the Johnny 5 robot. Um, the, the screws that go in here uh, into this uh, terminal are very small um, as supplied um, when I purchased them. They stripped out incredibly easy. Uh, there were, I, I forget what they were, like an M3 or an M5 or maybe an M4. I don't know, but they stripped right out. So what I did uh, in another video is I actually drilled these out and helicoiled them for a quarter 20. That's an imperial size. Um, and then I decided, then I, after some experimentation, I realized that I was going to have to put uh, studs in these. So what I did is I got quarter 20, three quarter inch long um, stainless steel um, grub screws, okay, flat on the bottom, okay, you don't want to point or anything, okay, because they're just bottoming out. And then I loctited them in with blue loctite. I know, I know, some of you out there are screaming and yelling, blue loctite, oh my god, you just, it, it, I'm not worried about it, okay. I've read both sides of the argument. Um, basically, as long as the lug is on these this terminal face down here, I, I should be fine. Okay, um, a whole lot better than the weedy kind of little bolt they had they supplied in stripping out. So this is my go-to. So uh, as we know, these things are full of angry pixies. Okay, um, when you're working on these things, you need to cover these terminals up to be safe. And you can see I'm wearing a ring. I shouldn't be wearing a ring, should I? No. Take that ring right off. Watch band, metal clasp. Take that right off, okay? Do not have anything metal near this when you're working. But I realized, I'm like, well, you know, hey, you have brain farts. Accidents happen. Um, how can I do a field expedient uh, way of making sure that these things are covered up so that if I do actually you know I'm working around with them and stuff, Bad things don't happen quickly. Um, so what I decided to do is this. I have a wing nut. Okay, this is an electrical wing nut. They are the ideal brand uh, high leverage wing. They're sold here in the States at your favorite big box store. And uh, there's the UPC code. Um, there we go. Looks like 832-506-8142. Um, I don't know if there's a part number on here. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying. Yeah, it says uh, minimum uh, Yeah, wire connectors. Uh, minimum number 18 American wire gauge to max 4 number 10 uh, American wire gauge. Anyhow, so, uh, yeah, I was like, okay, I think I have an idea. So, I already have these uh, quarter 20 hex nuts that go on here, like so, all right? So, what I decided to do was simply see if one of the hexes would go in here, and sure enough, it does. So, what I do is I grab one out of my little baggie here, I put it in here by hand, okay? I kind of got it in there, kind of. I press it down in, but of course it don't go quite all the way. So I use a C-clamp. Simply apply a little bit of pressure to that with the C-clamp to wedge that down in there. So it is nice and even. Now we have a field expedient quick way of covering that terminal, or the terminals, so you do not have bad accidents. So there we go. So now you can work safely on the batteries. You don't have to worry, you know, within reason, of course. And then when you need to get it to terminals, it's just a quick, yep. I think that works pretty darn good. There we go. So, uh, yeah. That's it, Terry's top tip. Alrighty, have a good one. As always, the monkey pushes the button. Once the monkey finds the button, yay, there it is.